Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Glad you could join us uh, today. Uh, we're with uh, Bill Jordan, one of our most favorite and fun guests. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, Bill. Good, good to, to see, see you again. again. Likewise. Uh, have you, Bill, have you ever had a year that you anticipated with either joy or dread? And I'll give you an example. I worked with a guy. Uh, we were... Uh, I was 28, he was 29. He spent the whole year anticipating in a negative way turning 30. Oh my God, I'm 30. I haven't written the great American novel. Oh, I'm going to be 30. I haven't bought my first house. Oh, I'm going to be 30. You know, spent wasted the whole year sure. whining about something that, yes, he was going to turn 30, but there sure. wasn't necessarily all those negatives. But I also remember, in my case, uh, anticipating the age of 16. Yes. Oh, I'm going to be 16. Wow, I'm going to get a license. I'm going to drive. This will be the greatest year ever. We, I think we all have those years, good or bad, that we anticipate. Have you ever had one? Sure. Well, 16 is one of them, of course, because you could drive. I could drive my dad's push-button transmission, oh. 1963 Dodge Dart. I remember those, yeah. Yeah, the Push. Rambler, the Rambler. With the, with the windows, you had to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody remembers those? I so, still have to do this on my windows, yeah. 16 was, yeah, so you could drive. Uh, I could date, although I remember my mom saying, you're going to find that's going to be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and she was right. Um, I think, I, I, I want to say I remember, you know, being 18 was going to be a big deal. Um 21, I remember being a big deal just because I could, I said, okay, so I can go to an AB. I wasn't ever, I've never been a big drinker, but just the fact that I could be 21 and go and buy a bottle of rum, mm -hmm. right? And as crazy as it may sound, also when I grew up, I always had BB guns or slingshots or something. I had a shotgun I got for Christmas. I had a 22 rifle I got for Christmas. But I thought, man, when I turn 21, I can go and buy my own, get a shotgun on my own, get a rifle on my own. 20, 21 came on that day. I didn't go to the ABC store or the gun shop. <laughs> it was just the anticipation. And then I got more practical. Then I got more practical. Well, back a second. Both of my brothers got married at 23. I remember being 23 and going, oh, man, I'm not married yet. I'm not married. I thought it was like this magical thing. I didn't get married till I was 26 and a half. Oh. I got more practical, though. I got more practical. I couldn't wait to be 25 because my car insurance would drop. <laughs> I've always been a cheapskate. Always been a cheapskate. And then the next age that I remember having an effect on me, and it's the only age that I dreaded, and that was 35. And I dreaded 35 because when I turned 35 at that time, average life expectancy was 70, 72. And so it hit me that I would be halfway there at 30. Oh, Half, wow. I'm going to be halfway there. Well, now I'm 65, and it's like... <laughs> I, I got to be beyond halfway now. Oh yeah, right. I, I think I think you're probably just at the halfway mark. Quite frankly, uh, my my opinion. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, let's see how that goes. Okay. Well, Bill, let's with seven, with uh, celebrating Act Two, uh, yeah. we basically picked fifty as the second half of your, the beginning of the second right. half of your life. Not because everybody's living to a hundred, right. but because we are living longer and longer. Uh, my, I think when my parents were around, their life expectancy was uh, 65, and then it yeah. was now it's 72. Now it's they're talking about possibly if you're alive today and you're in your 60s or 70s, you're going to live to 82. Uh, I, we know people who've lived into 90s without any question. So 50 really is pretty close to the beginning of the second half of your life. Yeah. Oh. And Mike, you know, I, I think we've talked about this before. Y'all look at it as two acts. I look at it as like a play and there's three acts. 
I've got the first 30 years of my life, the next 30, and then the next 30. So I'm hopefully early into my third act. Uh, and that's that's my perspective on it. But I get the celebrating act, yeah. too, certainly yeah. with you guys. So uh, so here's, here, Bill, here's the reason uh, it's act two. Okay. If, you take a, if you take the structure of a play, act one is where they set up all the things that are going to happen, right? Okay. Act two is the biggest act. It's the longest act, and it's where all the good stuff happens. It's where okay. all the action is, where all the love affairs, all the good and the bad happens in act two. <laughs> and act three is the very end. Okay. You die! <laughs> act three is you're dead! So that's why we think act two okay. is better than act all three. Right. You know what? I like your, I like your uh, three stages, too. Well, you know, I, I, and that's kind of my mindset, but I can definitely hang hang my hat on to what you've got going. And back to the ages thing, uh, you know, I was looking forward to uh, uh, 65 to get on Social Security or to get on Medi Medicare. Um, and now Social Security, I'm looking at 66. So this July, I'll turn 66. I may have to talk to you guys and see if I should take my, my monthly check. I guess I should. Uh, we, we've we'll got all kinds that. of advice for you. We'll yeah. help you with that. Yeah. And then now I'm actually, now how many guys say this? I can't wait for my wife to get to 65 so she can be on Medicare too. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're there. You're there. Okay. You're you're thinking in the right. We won't have to do too much to help you because you're already in the right mindset. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Yeah. And we're both healthy and, uh, you know, I, I want to you know live out this, this life in, in the best way quality of life I can have. So what good does it do me to live to 90, but I'm, I've got something going on. So I'm just trying to stay healthy and take care of myself. Well, one of the reasons why you should live to 90 is that you are getting such a great following now with Embrace the Boom and inspiring other people. What would they do without you? We'll have to do a hologram of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it won't quite be the same. So, no, Art, uh, that's not true because oh. Bill lives forever on Celebrating Act Two. Well, that's true. On our YouTube channel, Celebrating Act Two. Well, you can binge watch him. Yeah, that's right. True. Imagine that's right. that. Wow. Yeah. You binge live forever, watch. Bill. Yeah. Well, you know, with the internet, we all do. You know, yeah. once you appear on the internet, you were there forever. Now, you yeah. just are. That's true. You know. So um, I, I appreciate you guys letting me plug the Embrace the Boom. I think it is a worthy, and I do call it a movement. And um, I used to hesitate calling it that, but I, I really do think it's that. It, everything begins with our thoughts, you know. Um, so if we have a good mindset about the aging process and getting older and accepting the challenges that do admittedly come with getting older, but there's still positives that we can look at. And one, you know, one other thought, and you guys, I'm sure, remember these guys, Canada's Guess Who, the rock group, the Guess Who. Oh, yeah. Right? So the lead singer was Burton Cummings. Burton Cummings uh, has had a great solo career even after the Guess Who broke up. And he had this great line, something like, it's funny how your plans for the future change when the size of your future changes. <laughs> mm. So my That's wife, we used, to, we used to always talk about, oh, man, when we're rich and famous, we're going to do this and we're going to live in this big house yeah. like this down in Hilton Head. And now we're just content to be, you know, taking it a day at a time. And, yeah. you know, there's, there's fewer things on the bucket list. We're just trying to enjoy life and, man, taking it as it comes and grabbing all the positives we can grab, you know? Amen. Amen. Well, with that, um, thank you, Bill, for your your uh, thoughts on uh those important times in your life, because it seems to me that for certain you have embraced the boom. Amen. Uh, at this stage of your life. And uh, uh, we yeah. thank you. We thank you for that. And thank you for being such an inspirational uh, friend. Well, thank you guys for having me. Uh, and I look forward to maybe doing this again with you. And until that time, live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.